Wow, I look so weird with glasses on. Don't like it. I got now I'm blind. When your contacts come on. I had to reschedule the appointment, didn't I? It's next week now. So um, I'm blind for a whole week. You've been blind for 30 years, so. 32, but who's counting? Good morning. Not Ryan bringing me my second coffee of the day because I have no personality right now. It is the end of the year, almost, and a little bit burnt out, I can't lie. I have, I have nothing left to give, but I wanted to vlog today because I'm doing something that I've never done before. And I thought you guys would really enjoy it coming along for this little trip. So today I am heading up to London, I have an event to go to, and I'm meeting Vic, but after the event, is that too much hair? That's too much hair, isn't it? I'm trying to get the curls to last, so we're doing smaller sections of hair. After we are done at our event, which I'm still really looking forward to, like, can't wait for this event, it's gonna be really nice. It's with a brand that I love. But after the event, I'm going back to Vicks with her, and then tomorrow morning, we're going to Manchester, which I am so excited about, because I've always wanted to do a trip to Manchester. And the fact that we're doing it at this time of year, Yes, it's gonna be freezing, but it's gonna be like festive. And I don't know, just really, I'm really excited for that. I haven't really done anything festive yet this year. It's gonna be very cold. So we're gonna to get to like bundle up or I think it's gonna be cold. Vic keeps telling me it's gonna be cold. And even though I live by the sea and we have like icy winds, I'm sure Manchester will still be a shock to the system. So I'm gonna bundle up warm and I feel like that is gonna make me feel extra festive or well, I'm not actually feeling festive to begin with, so hopefully it will make me feel festive. So that is what we are up to this weekend, I can't wait. And the reason that I'm going is actually because I I have a business meeting in Manchester, not with Vic, like completely separately on the Monday. So Vic's been wanting me to go to Manchester for so long and I was like, this is perfect. Like I need to be up there anyway. Let's do a girls trip the weekend before, plus Alex is our honorary gal pal for the weekend i'm sure he's gonna be thrilled to hear me say that yeah i think it's gonna be so fun and i'm just so excited oh i've missed a b oh no we're missing bits oh no she takes the glasses off for two seconds and it's game over oh dear even though i've just told you i am super burnt out i have to say i'm in a much better mood today than i have been the past couple of days because this morning our plumber came to the house for what i'm hoping is the last time not just this year but ever okay that side is done let's do my magic little trick which is keep the hair on your shoulder so it stays like and then give it some hairspray i look like a poodle but needs must because my hair is so long now that it's not really holding much of a curl there is definitely a sweet spot for me with the hair length that works best in terms of styling however it's just not the hair length that i love the most i'll actually show you when it's not curled over the weekend once the curls drop how long it's got it's actually insane no there's always one okay no i think it's okay is it okay so that is what i'm up to this weekend i can't wait to bring you along with me however i need to get on and get myself looking presentable because i actually have to leave fairly soon and I really don't want to be running behind today. I don't need that stress. So yeah, I am going to finish up getting ready, but I'm gonna stop chatting because it's always the chatting that makes me late. Using a little bit of the GHD curl hold spray. It's like heat protectant and curl hold in one apparently. Seeing how this works because I need a little bit of extra help. Oh. London and someone's even more happy than I am today. It's Christmas! <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> we've got more times and we're both in our teddy bear coats. Look a little bit ridiculous. We look like actual care bears. The care bear crew, here to give hugs, here for hugs. Cheers mate. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's just quite overwhelming, isn't it? Like, it's, it's, so, it's, so 
It's incredible. The Teddy Christmas tree. <laughs> and we're back eating again. <laughs> so we've come to a place, is it called the shed? The shed in Notting Hill is so good. The bread is delicious. I'm trying to I'm trying to tear a bit off as I said. I'm trying to vlog and tear a bit off at the same time. We had so much fun at the Max. <laughs> we're, try we're trying to dip the bread in. Had so much fun at the Max event. It was so good. Like, just unreal. Probably one of my favourite like pop up events that I've been to in a long time. Yeah, we're having a little bit of dinner now. And then we're heading back to your house. Ready for our lunch just a week? Good morning, good morning. Why is that stuck in my head? <laughs> This is my outfit of the day today. We are on our way to Manchester. I stayed at Vic's last night. We had the most amazing dinner. It was just so nice, such good vibes. We managed to get home safely as well, even though the trains were so messed up. I thought I would quickly show you my little outfit of the day before we head to Manchester. I'm going very comfy today, mostly because <laughs> I realized that if I didn't go comfy today, I was gonna be wearing the same Holland Cooper jeans in throughout this entire vlog and we like variety you know we like to spice it up a little bit love adding a little bit of spice so yeah this this is me spicing things up lol i'm wearing this adenola set so we've got the brown i think it's the shade espresso the brown espresso top and then the brown espresso leggings as well some gray mile socks which are from h&m and they are honestly the best socks i've ever bought i got them last year i will link them if they're still available because they are stunning so comfortable if these ever get a hole in them i'm going to be so sad because they're my favorite if you could have a favorite sock if you're that sad that you have a favorite sock like me no burn i am sad maybe we're not sad maybe we're just specific i don't know but i have a favorite socks so these are my favorite socks i wish i had more pairs of them anyway wearing my favorite socks so you know today is going to be a good day i've got Monica Vinader hoop earrings in. They sent me these and I just am obsessed with them. I wear them all the time. They're probably one of my most worn pairs of earrings now. I've got the Max Mara bag, the teddy bag. I'm actually going to wear the teddy coat. I was going to leave it at Vicks because it is on loan and I just, it, it does need to be sent back. However, I think I'm gonna wear it up to Manchester because it was so warm and I keep being told it's gonna be really cold up there. So I think I'm gonna wear the teddy coat up there. I've got a black coat in my suitcase. So that can be like my evening coat and I'll wear the teddy coat in the day maybe. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But anyway, then I've also got I'm in a really weird mood today, I'm so sorry you guys. It's my personality like slowly coming back, but it doesn't come back in a normal way. Like just dribs and drabs of it start coming back. Anyway, I'm wearing these Mew Mew sunglasses, they're new. I got myself a pair and then I also got my manager a pair as well for Christmas so we can be matching. Why do I do this? Why do I just love matching with everyone? But yeah, I love these. I love the brown tone of them. I think it goes so well with the outfit. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I'm gonna wear my All Saints black boots, but they're downstairs and definitely not going on this carpet because that will give me anxiety yeah it's a pink coat black all saints boots and that is my outfit of the day but anyway i'll check in with you when we get to manchester <laughs> what are you getting i'm getting veggie yorkshire pudding wrap delicious veggie yorkshire wrap veggie yorkshire wrap <laughs> iconic very fine you're a songwriter <laughs> Yum! What were you using? Max Stone. Ooh, I need a mirror. Nice. Hard to tell whether I'm going to be going out looking very 90s in this lighting. 90s is the way forward. That's how I always look. <laughs> yeah, but not in a good way. way. Always gorgeous. Armani 111. We love this colour. Going in the bag. We are literally taking out the bare minimum. So we have the Olympia Latin spicy margarita bag, mango coat, mango dress. What is this? This is gonna go good bag. Here we got boots. PDA in the background. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> good morning. Day two in Manchester. I didn't really get to vlog much yesterday night, but Vic and Alex took me out to uh, Satan's, which was an ex. Experience. It was an experience. A bearded man nearly kidnapped me. It was very fun. This morning we are, I'm feeling a little bit hungover. We're gonna go out and get some breakfast. We've had coffees. I've got ready. I'm just wearing my Skims brown body. 
I'm obsessed with this one, I love it. Holland Cooper jeans, All Saints boots, the Max Mara Teddy coat. I'm doing that thing where you try and wear something so much until you're sick of it, so that when I give it back, I don't feel so sad, but it's not working. It's not working. I then have the Max Mara Teddy bag, and then my new Mimi sunglasses, which I, I'm obsessed with. I think it goes so nicely with the coat. Also, how cute is this setup? Fro home, really doing the most today. Fro studio. studio, sorry, that's my roller. Oh my god, let's like let's get rid of that. I'm not, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay for the amount of mess I bring to people's houses. Vic, how nice is it here? Thanks, Vic. It's so gorgeous. It makes me so happy that you really like it. I really I love it. Yeah, look, you guys, it's just stunning. Cool, isn't it? It's yeah. quite unique. I don't want to vlog out the windows, but I want to show people like the things. Mm -hmm. It's just so lovely. Not me uploading the Skims haul in the background. <laughs> it's so nice. Are you excited for breakfast? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, we're going to a place called Tack in the end. Not oh, we got oh, okay. We're going to Tack. It's a good brunch place, like good, like Avotos vibe. Kind of oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Not me enabling Victoria shopping in Chanel. <laughs> You're gonna have to go over to her vlog to see what she's getting. It's really cute. Hello, we have had a lovely afternoon shopping in Manchester. Very excitingly, we went to Chanel, Vic did some shopping. I am resisting when we're this close to Christmas. However, I did do something that I have never done before and it may shock some of you. Genuinely, I am, I actually, I can't believe that we did this, but I actually saw that there was an Hermes store and we went in. I'm not normally the biggest fan of their shopping experience like i've been in in london i don't love it but we went into the manchester store and it was so nice the woman in there tressia she was so lovely like honestly just one of the loveliest humans and i ended up submitting for a wish for an Hermes wish so yeah cross your fingers for me if you don't know it's basically what you would do if you would like a Birkin or a Kelly so I put down my preferences on a bag I would love to know if you can guess what you think I would go for so the wishes last a year if you don't see anything by then by this time next year literally this date next year in December then it means that I <laughs> I didn't get it which I'm fully I'm really prepared for that to happen because what are the chances because I'm not I don't know I'm just I'm not in there shopping every week even though apparently that doesn't it doesn't make a difference it's just luck so I was clearly feeling a little bit wild today and I thought I'd try my luck but the store in Selfridges in Manchester is just so nice I couldn't recommend it more if you are visiting would highly highly recommend I'm really excited to have a really lovely essay there as well even just for things like shoes yeah we will we will see how that goes but anyway getting ready for dinner and we are going to one of Victoria's favorite restaurants in Manchester called Australasia and I am really looking forward to it can't wait to eat so I'm wearing this off the shoulder skims dress tonight really lovely but also really stretchy yeah. great for eating in <laughs> Put makeup on. Make Vic has fully crashed in the last like half an hour. Vic's really struggling. <laughs> I think it was that final walk back. <laughs> Didn't yeah. get in. We had to power walk back to get the Skims video up and it's came over for her. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a walker. <laughs> no, I'm not. I really like this eye look. What's Ryan done today? He's really hungover. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> You guys, it was so funny last night. I wanted to make sure that Ryan was home safe, so I was kind of like waiting up to hear. From, I was waiting up to hear from him, and I just saw the doorbell alert go, and I hopped on, and I was like, "What time do you call this?" And he jumped out of his skin, and then we were just chatting through the doorbell. <laughs> And he was so drunk. It was so funny. I should have just took this off and started again, really. I love putting makeup on over makeup. I feel like the makeup that's underneath ends up, like, baking onto your skin. Usually it does. I don't know if this is today. <laughs> more! Yeah, add more. <laughs> more. I'll add some more. Me and Vic have different approaches to makeup. I'm like, more! <laughs> if in doubt, just put more yeah. on. Oh, you guys. Tell me you've 
been eating dairy without telling me you've been eating dairy. Looks like I've been bitten back to being vegan next year. I've fallen off the bandwagon and this is my karma. Okay, outfit of the evening. Oh, you look so snug. So Look at the suit, it's stunning. Thanks, stunning. I'm wearing a little skims dress. Gorgeous. Ooh, I need to turn the brightness up on this. I just love it. It's so flattering. Yeah. This wow. stuff is just so good. And then we've got my Max Mara bag just for practicality because my spicy margarita clutch just does not fit enough in. And I want to take my film camera and my vlogging camera because I forgot to vlog last night. And then I've got my, where are these from? Cos earrings, but I will link a very similar dupe that I found on ASOS. And then my ring is from Astro de Miu. And boots are really old. I think they're from Mango. Mm -hmm. That is it. Wow, we go down here. That's so cool. Look at Vic's bag, by the way, guys. Look at it. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with Victoria tonight. Look at you. The earrings. I'm loving these. You might recognize these from Vic's vlog. I was very obsessed with these. And look at what else she's wearing. We need to get yours engraved. I know. I know what we're putting on it now. Oh, do you? Yeah. We decided the other day it can be the same as the other thing, okay. but yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. It would be nice to look in it and then remember. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get that engraved. Okay. You're so pretty. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> oh, don't, I don't need it. Oh, she wants to keep up What are you going to do? I like to just eat the actual, okay. the actual spongy bit on its own. Get a spoon. See, look, it's like, it's like super light spongy inside. Oh, you see that? Oh. <laughs> I can't tell you. Oh, it's divine. It's so divine. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we are back. It's actually been quite a while since I last saw you. Why do I feel like I've spent my life saying that on YouTube this year? I will be better next year, I swear. I'm just using a little bit of Prada Beauty with the most fingerprinty packaging in the world. But yeah, I really like this at the moment. Vic lent it to me because she had spares and it's just the best starting point for when you want a really glowy base. Like, ooh, this moisturizer is just the most stunning consistency it's kind of similar to the sunday riley one that i used to really love i can't remember what it was called but i adored that except it broke me out like i used to find myself getting a lot of like under the skin bumps when i used it but i haven't found that with this and it's just so hydrating anyway loving that at the moment but yeah it's been a little hot second since i last saw you so monday my last day in manchester i actually had a meeting with a brand i don't know really how much to share with you yet but i had a meeting with a brand about my wedding shoes and i'm going to be designing my own wedding shoes which is so fun but it actually gets even more fun on top of that but i don't know how much i'm allowed to like tell you yet but it was such a fun day we traveled out of manchester to their offices and then back into manchester and then i came all the way home in one go this time oh, i do this with fingers oh my god i can't even remember the order and the way in which i do my makeup it's been that long since i wore makeup actually it hasn't been that long it just feels like it's been an eternity since i last put makeup on and then the next day I was meant to vlog but it just ended up being a really chaotic day and I had to get up to London again I am so over being on trains I probably will not get on a train again now for quite some time whoa the glow whoa the sun is not really giving today I don't know how I don't know where to sit where is better to sit maybe here still feel like it's it's not great anyway ryan and i went up to london with his brother and his brother's wife and we saw our friend ellie she lives up there and we went to a place called flight club which is basically like darts which uh i i was skeptical i have never played darts my 
eyesight is terrible my hand eye coordination probably worse than my eyesight and that's really saying something oh my god i need to move this anyway so we went up to london went to flight club played darts which was actually way more fun than it sounded i really enjoyed it and would definitely go back and do that and then we went to carlotto is it carlotto or carlotta it's part of the big mama restaurant group which have loads of very 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 hyped up london restaurants and it was actually really lovely the food was unreal so i would definitely recommend going if you love an italian and want something a little bit fancier though don't order the margarita because it was not giving unless you don't generally like margaritas in which case you might like it because it was giving more fruity berryness than anything else and then yesterday was just a whole load of sorting out things for christmas oh the sun again wow it's giving we've been roped into hosting even though i hosted last year and i said never again however we're only hosting for breakfast so not the end of the world however we do have my brother and his girlfriend coming to stay for the whole of Christmas so we have just been like running around like headless chickens trying to get everything sorted. I am actually really excited for Christmas this year but I've already got to that point where I can't wait to it for it to be over so that I can just be in my normal routine. Yeah it's just been pure chaos. Yeah I'm, I'm ready to put this year to bed and just be a hermit next year. Like I we're we're having stay at home jan we're having stan stay at home jam not me sleeping through my alarm this morning and literally having to run to my smear test which i like to try and be relaxed before i go to so for my eyes at the moment i'm really loving just taking like this rounded flat brush and dipping it in a very dark brown and literally just like running it along my lash line and it gives somewhere between a nice smoky glam look and like a minimal look it's just really soft really simple but it doesn't feel quite as bare especially on dark eyes as wearing just like literally mascara and nothing else on my eyes i really really like it but anyway my grinchmas ran over because i actually am genuinely looking forward to christmas this year and like my whole family is around for christmas this year which will be so nice and i am so happy that the house is like finally done i think we're having our last like tradesmen in today just to finish up like one thing and then it is done nothing like being finished up at the last dying second this room is kind of done now apart from i obviously need to get blinds i really want a nice like roman blind for this window up here but anyway i thought seeing as things were looking a little bit more done that this morning i would show you how everything is looking i had a delivery last night of different like lamps to really finish off the bedrooms like the lamps that have been in my bedroom downstairs i have had since mm, probably since like 2015 four properties ago four properties ago so it it was time so that is the makeup done for the most part i'm actually going to try a new lipstick today i got sent this from tom ford how stunning can you see the way that catches the light it's got like this shimmer running through it ah it looks so nice i'm hoping it'll be like plumping and juicy oh wow that is so festive i really like that just look at my baby hairs at the moment they are wild I'm gonna wash my hands and tidy this up and then i'll show you this room okay are you ready Ooh. so this is how the guest bedroom is looking i'm really really happy with how it's come out if you're wondering where things are from literally almost everything in here is from next so we've got these bedside tables oh, i just realized my brightness has turned down well that's good so the bedside tables and the lamps are actually both from next i'm really happy with how these have turned out they're really cool they've got like shelves in them really lovely the bed is also from next the bedding is from dunelm i believe and the pillows i think these are quite old zara with like an amazon pillow filling which is actually really good like very good for like a chop you know and then this blanket i think might have been from like zara or h&m home but yeah i'm really happy with the whole bed bedside table lamp situation i really wasn't sure what kind of vibe to go for in here actually the other lamps that we got for downstairs i 
originally wanted for in here but I have just decided to keep it like super neutral in here it's really lovely and the wood and the cream tones are just really helping to warm it up also please excuse my carpet I need to hoover and then I've also got this little boucle footstool which is meant to go under this little makeup desk which I do come in here and do my makeup at sometimes but I also got it just because we have carpet in here and when we have guests stay like especially the girlies I don't really think that it's like wise to be doing makeup on such a light carpet so I thought a makeup desk would be a really good idea this is also from next and it's unreal it's got the most heavy like marble topper it's got drawers which are fairly shallow they're not ideal like this makeup bag will just not fit in there so not really sure what i want to store in these but yeah i love the little kind of elevated stand that it has and you can display bits i love the marble the marble is incredible and then it's got a mirror that like fixes onto the back and we've kind of put it in this positioning as well to almost like mask the radiator a bit we were going to have it more in a corner and then have the chair to the side but it just looks a bit weird with the radiator like poking out so we decided to centralize it i've gone for the chair underneath it for now but i actually think this works better but because we're having guests to stay the chair can't go in the corner because that corner is not big enough really it just gives the most lovely cozy vibe in here let me show you isn't that just so nice i'm just so happy with it i just i love bedside lamps or like wall lights either side of a bed i've wanted to kind of do this for so long and it's just it's just been something i've never really got around to yeah i've always just felt like it was never really sensible to do little things like this but we're now in, actually in that phase where the reno is done and i can start like making things really homey and i'm just so happy oh i'm gonna show you the bathroom as well because this is also basically done i just need to have a really good clean in here now we haven't even like showered in here like you can tell we basically had to have a lot of this like ripped out and put back in i don't think i actually told you that i think i showed you it after and just didn't i just glazed over it but yeah we're finally at the point where all of the little bits around that have been done so like we had to have tiles replaced and things like that and it's finally all done so yeah i can actually start spending time in here we've popped the bulbs on the lamps and they just look so nice this room <laughs> is chaos i don't want to talk about this we'll talk about this in the next vlog and then we are very very quickly gonna run downstairs i will show you the bedroom and then we've got to go to the tip okay are you ready it's so cute it's so nice having bedside tables i love them so these are also from next but they're from a brand i can't remember what the name is look at the pattern it's so cool so it's like a green a dark greeny kind of color and it just goes so well with the bedside tables which i really should replace at some point because they are so useless like there's no storage there's no nothing but it does go really well with them and i just love like the scalloped edging to the lamp i think it's stunning and just really suits this room because it's quite a soft girly room and because of the bed the wardrobes and the mirror it's quite a traditional kind of bedroom so i tried to go with lamps that were a little bit less modern but still kind of modern in a way and i just i'm obsessed with these they make it so nice and cozy in here i actually have different light bulbs in each of them right now which i need to rectify this afternoon <laughs> there's a lot of making do going on in this house at the moment but anyway i need to go i need to get this cardboard in my car and i need to vacate immediately so be right back jingle bell time is a swell time Finished doing all my errands for the day. Oh my god, it's so windy outside. All I can fit, you know, when you can just feel baby hairs on your head. Just got back from Asda and I picked a very low key dinner for this evening because I genuinely don't have the mental capacity. Like, Ryan wants something that's not like pasta, and that is all I know. My lights are flickering. This is on my list of things to get sorted for 2024 because I've lived here for three years and the lights still flicker. I swear they get worse every day. So we are having jack of potatoes with every vegetable under the sun. Don't hate on me for the amount of plastic. My local shop has nothing that's not wrapped in plastic. I also got two Terry's chocolate oranges for my sibling and his girlfriend because I'm doing them stockings for Christmas. Not for dinner, but for my hot chocolates. My hot chocolates over Christmas are going to bang. Like my morning coffees, we're gonna be going all out. I am actually going to be taking an extended break this year more than I would normally because it's just, just been a lot. 
and I, I need to rest. I actually just feel like I need to rest so that this chaotic energy can just go in the bin and we can like start fresh next year. This is the healthiest Ryan was getting with dinner. Anyway, <laughs> let's make some dinner. So I know that the uh, cheese on this is basically probably most people's idea of blasphemy, but I just can't have a jacket potato without cheese on it. I just can't do it. I'm a baby. Sue me. What's the got to do? What do you want from me? Plain food? Mm -hmm. 